I'm Andrew, and I'm setting out to make better videos for diesel enthusiasts. Follow along as I review products, do how-tos, and share my personal trucks here on Just Diesels. What's up guys, Andrew with Just Diesels here, and today we're gonna to be running through how to tune your truck using Auto Agent 3 and the EasyLink app. Um, we're specifically gonna be using NRE Performance custom tunes on this truck, so we're actually gonna be doing a CSP5 switch, five position tuning on this truck, but this is going to cover everything you need to know. If you've never tuned a vehicle before, you're in a good spot because this is super easy, and if you have tuned a vehicle before, this is gonna feel very familiar. So. First thing you need is to actually order the product. You are going to get this little uh, dongle, which is going to connect into your OBD2 port and have a Bluetooth connection to your phone. You will also need to download the Auto Agent 3 or EasyLink app uh, from the App Store, either Google Play, or if you have an iOS device from the Apple App Store. Next, we're gonna plug this into the OBD2 port on the truck. Once you have the Auto Agent plugged in, you're going to key the truck on the power. Now, once it's keyed on to power, you're gonna go on your app and you are going to see that you are able to connect. So you can hit next. You're then gonna to wanna to go into your settings on your phone, and then you're going to connect to the easy link on your Wi-Fi. Once you're connected, you are going to see a display pop up. Now, at this point, it may prompt you for an update on the easy link. If it prompts you to update your easy link, follow the instructions on screen and you can update your easy link uh, via the app on your phone. Now, once you're done with that, you are going to go into the hamburger icon at the top, which is your menu. You're going to click vehicle and you're going to click add technician uh, or technicians. Once you were in there, you were able to add the technician or tuner that you're gonna be working with. In this case, we are working with NRE Performance. So we are going to type in add and it's going to be nick at nreperformance.com. Once you've added that tuner, you can then manually message that tuner and you provide the details or notes on what you're asking for for tuning. So Assuming you've already purchased this through NRA Performance, you've kind of given them kind of a rundown of what you need. But in this case, we are going to include our order number. We're also going to include information about the trucks. We're gonna say that this particular truck is a 2007 Ram 2500 Cummins. It is stock with no other modifications. And we are looking for the five uh, shift on the fly tunes with stair step power levels. That will give Nick the information he needs to send you the proper tune and message back and forth uh, accordingly. Now at this point, you'll have sent Nick a request for tuning. Now you have to wait at this point, he will send you the tunes accordingly. This may take five minutes, may take 15, may take an hour. So just be patient at this point in time. Um, what's easiest for me is I'll just go ahead and do this, go do something else and come back once the tunes are ready. So we sent Nick the request, the tunes are loaded. We're gonna go ahead and proceed from there. So again, going to the menu at the top, you're going to click the top uh, hamburger icon, go into vehicle, and then we are going to go in to ECU profiles. You're gonna see that there's an available ECU profile available to download. We're gonna tap that, and we are going to click download. Now you can see the technician, NRE performance, you can see the applied vehicle, and you can see the transmission. Always nice to double check and make sure that all those are correct. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna click install. Proceed. And this is going to be transferring the ECU profile to the auto agent that's plugged into the OD port on the truck. You are now going to follow the instru uh, instructions on the screen. So this is going to say place ignition in the off position. Click continue. Now it's going to say place the ignition in the run position, which is two clicks forward on this third gen. Now we're gonna continue. You're gonna see that it is now preparing for installation, unlocking controller, uh, and now it is going to be installing on the truck. At this point, you are going to hear the truck uh, make some odd noises. You're gonna hear your fuel pump cycle on and off. You're going to hear uh, the gauge cluster ding. Uh, you'll probably see a lot of lights light up. Um, if your truck has weak batteries, you do wanna plug it into a battery tender because it is loading five tunes on the ECM of the truck. Um, you can also, like if you have an aftermarket lift pump, actually unplug that lift pump so that it's not drawing power by cycling on and off. Uh, in this case, the truck has a factory lift pump still, so can't unplug anything. Um, and you are going to watch on the screen, it is going to give you a progress bar for the installation of the tunes on your truck. So at this point, the truck has finished tuning um, and we've now got another screen. So again, we're gonna follow the prompts on screen. So it's saying to take the ignition and place it in the off position. Now it's saying to place the ignition in the on or run position. Click continue and we are complete. So at this point, um, we are done and good to go on the ECU tuning for this truck. 
Now this truck also has a CSP5 switch that we are going to be installing. This is a very simple install. For the CSP5 switch, it is literally just going to plug into the OBD2 port here. Um, this effectively acts as a splitter, so it's a bypass style cable. Um, and then mount your CSP5 five position switch wherever you'd like on the truck. Um, and at this point, you will notice a very dramatic change in tuning as you go through one through five on this truck. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to your tuner. Obviously, I am not a custom tuner. I'm just here to try and help you guys uh, install EasyLink on your truck. Um, but yeah, whoever you're tuning through, uh, Nick NRE Performance is who I typically use. Awesome to work with, great to work with. If you have any issues, he'll be able to help you guys. But hopefully this helps. Any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to your tuner or comment down below. I'll do my best to help. Thanks so much.